is Months and Months and Music. I'm going to talk about how you could play a song called You Got to Hide Your Love Away by the Beatles. And it starts off with a really quick intro around a G major chord. And we play G major. First finger goes to the A on the second fret. The second finger on the low E string, third fret. And third finger on the high E string, third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now you may also dig on putting the third finger on the D third pinky on the high E third fret. Kind of working that for your G. Or another possibility would be doing your second finger on the A string second, third finger on the low E string third, pinky on the high E string third fret for your G. And what that does is it kind of frees you up to go to something called the G suspended, which is kind of a cool chord to kind of throw in here at the intro. Where you could do first finger on the B string first fret, second finger on the D second fret, kind of keeping the third finger on the low E third, pinky on the high E third. And it's almost like if you're starting out from the beginning, you can kind of count three on a G, kind of a one, two, three, and then go to your G sus, but you may want to do it down, and then hammer on the one and two. So kind of playing the down, and then trying to get one and two to hammer on into the sus for kind of a two beat count, and then back to the G. So G, two, three, G sus, G, G, two, three, G sus, two, G, that kind of an idea. Or there's a lot of other strumming options actually that you could play around with. It's kind of a three, four, so you could even work kind of a three down count on each chord. One, two, three, one, two, three, that kind of feel. Or one of my favorite strum patterns for a three, four like this is down, down, up, down, up. So you can try that a lot too. Down, down, up, down, up, down. through the tune is kind of a down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. As long as you kind of keep it in the three though, I think you're, you're kind of safe. And we start off uh, kind of with that intro, and if you want to get in that G sus with those licks, you can kind of work the G with a down, down, up, down, up, do your down with the G sus, with the hammer on, and then come back with the up, and then hit the G with the down. G down, down, up. Tricky, little, little quick there, but G down, up, down, G sus, up, G, to kind of kick it off. And then we go into our main verse idea. And our main verse chord uh, kind of starts off on the G, and then we go to a D major chord. And normally you do this first finger on the G second, second finger on the high E second, third finger on the B third, and if you show them the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now, now, randomly as an aside, actually, uh, too, when, when you're trying to play through the tune, the tune is actually 40 cents-ish flat. So you may actually have to go to your tuners if you want to play along with the Beatles and loosen them up just a little bit. Um, so, but we're just kind of working this in standard tuning because I'm assuming that you all have tuners. Um, so on the D major, though, you, you randomly, you'll hear some really cool licks through the tune, actually. They kind of use these guys where you can lift the second finger. Always a dangerous finger to lift. It makes a D suspended second. Or you could add in a pinky on the high E third for a D suspended chord. And actually, especially on the chorus, you'll kind of hear that change from the D sus to a D to a D sus two back to D. And randomly, there's also some other cool D licks where on the D, you can kind of start without the first finger and then work that first down with a hammer on into that second fret. You kind of hear, hear some of that idea kind of coming through the tune. And then from the D on our verses, we'd be going to an F major chord. And normally you do this as a bar on first fret. We'll talk about some easier options here too. But then two on the G string, second, third finger on the A third, pinky on the D third. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an F major bar chord. It sounds really, really happy. And a good substitute for that, if you're just starting out, is an F major seven, where you can do first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the G second fret, third finger on the D third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds an F major seven. It sounds really groovy, happy. And if you're digging on that other G voicing there with the, with the four fingers, you may dig on kind of using an F major 13, where you could do first finger on the G second, second finger on the D third, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, and kind of working that. That way you could actually kind of leave the, the third and fourth fingers down from the G. You can use a D sus and then use the F major 13. So that might be a cool way out. And then from there, if we go back to our G chord, and then we go to a C major chord. And normally you do this first finger on the B first fret, 
second finger on the D second fret, and third finger on the A string third fret. And if you show them the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really happy. And you may also dig on lifting off the first finger, you can add a C major seven, or you can add in the pinky on the B third, or a C major nine, kind of say some stuff around C. Or another way to play C major nine, we'll be doing first finger on the D second, Second finger on the A third, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. And then that way you wouldn't even have to move that three and four actually through most of the tune actually. You could kind of kind of work that C major nine. Then we go back to our F, back to our C, and then we kind of almost start that over again. G, D, F, G, C, C, F, C. And then we kind of have a punctuation at the end of the phrase where we kind of go to our D first time through the, the phrase actually we do two D's and the second time actually we hear this cool little bass line come out around the D. We end up doing four D's but cool little bass line kind of, kind of a D major straight up but then if you take the pinky you can put them on the A string third fret and that would be a D slash C or a D with a C in the bass and then you can kind of cheat this next chord by, by doing the, the first finger on the A string second fret it's kind of a D slash B or a D with a B in the bass and then we go to a kind of a D slash A D with an A in the bass so you could just stay on D and not worry about it or if you want to follow that bass line you can kind of work the D to the D slash C to the D slash B to the D slash A it could be a very very cool way to kind of work it before the chorus so all the way through that whole first verse you got kind of a G D F G C We kind of start off on the G chord, and another G, and then our C, and more C, and then we do the D sus to D, D sus 2 to D. So G, C, D sus, D, D sus 2, D. And randomly on the second G, actually, you'll hear this cool little bass line. It's kind of a little lead end of the G. And if you kind of dig on that, you can play third on the low E string, to open A second fret on the A. And I could even just take the place of the G chord, actually, kind of that 302, or G, A, B helps lead to a C chord, is kind of the idea. So you got kind of G, 2, 3, 3, O, 2, C, D, sus, D, D, sus, 2, D, G, and bass line 3, O, 2, C chord. into our next verse. Now we've been talking a lot about bass notes actually and you could add bass notes to the song by working it off a bass down up down up kind of idea for this drum pattern or a bass up down up bass up down up for your drum pattern. Now the G you'd have the low E string for the bass. On the D you'd have the D for the bass. On the F bar you'd have low E for the bass. On the F major 7 you'd have the D for the bass. And on the C you'd have the A for the bass. And our D chords, we'd have the D string for the bass. So we try that next verse with bass notes, you'd have kind of that G, D, F, G, C, C, F, C, G, D, F, G, C, C, F, C, D. G, C, C, F, C, 
slash C slash B slash A. That's the coolest part. Um, the D with the D bass. And D slash C would have the A bass. D slash B would have the A bass. D slash A would have the A bass. So that last E you would know, follow that bass line. B, C, B. I know for myself, I almost always want to go down, down, down. Kind of get a lot of energy to go into the chorus. So. From that verse, then we'd be going in back into our chorus part. So we tried that with basses. We have G, C, D sus, D, D sus, D, 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 C, D. So we kind of dig on that. And then from there, then we go into kind of our flute solo outro. And it's really kind of following a lot of our verse idea, actually. And you can take all these ideas and mix them up all kinds of different ways. So, so feel free to take this lesson and run with it any way you want to. So on that last outro, you got the G, D, F, G, C, C, F, C, G, D, F, G, C, C, F, C, D, F, C, D, F, C, D, F, C, C, so you can even take that flute solo and turn it into guitar notes. Um, I'm all about stealing licks from other instruments uh, normally. So you can play open G, second on the G, open E, and then I kind of like this next part. It's kind of a quick little flourish. Ba -da -da. And what you may want to do is kind of go fourth fret on the G as a pull off to second fret on the G and then as a pull off to the open G. So it's kind of a double pull off idea. So four two O. Oh. Since everything's on one pick, some good speed on that and then we got another open G and then second fret on the G is a pull off to the open because that's kind of a cool little flourish there too that two pull off the open so playing the two and let my finger fall off the string straight towards the floor to get the sound to carry and then we go third fret to first fret and pull off on the B string and then we go fourth fret to second fret on the G string as a pull off so all the way through that first phrase you got kind of Two, open, four, two, oh, 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 two, oh, three, one, four, two, and then we almost started over again. Open G, two on the G, open E, and then that four, two, oh, double pull off, and then open G, and then the pull off on the G from two, oh, and then three to one is a, is a pull off on the B, and then at the very end, you'll hear kind of this really quick hammer on from the open B to the first fret on the B. And then we do that again, and then we can kind of play first fret on the B and slide it a third. So we kind of dig on that. So all the way through that whole flute solo, we got the O, two, open, four, two, O, 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 two, O, three, one, four, two, O, two, open E, four, two, O, open, two, O, three, one, O, one, O, one, O, three, or, <coughs> Or sometimes what I like to do too is, is work my whistling skills. <laughs> so. of how you could play through. You've got to hide your love away by the Beatles, so good luck.